the 30 participants in the every man for himself Royal Rumble. You see, this is the toughest match that I ever been in. I'm talking about the Royal Rumble, brother. That's right, 30 men, brother. Everybody's for themselves. You see, the Birdman is in the best shape of his life. So, dudes, let me tell you one thing, brother. You better get ready because the Birdman is coming after you. Coco Beware with the endurance to go all the way to Jesse if he's unfortunate enough to receive an early number in the Royal Rumble. This man could very well go the distance. He can if he can stay away from people, which he's very quick at. He certainly. Ooh, wow. Ooh, look at this. In high flying style is the Birdman. You know, again, McMahon, I'm going to emphasize in the Royal Rumble again. The luck of the draw is so important. Yeah. Because if you get a late, late number, the guys who are left in that ring, not only are some going to be eliminated, they're going to be very tired. And I might add additional security is going to be provided this year for, oh, shall we say, individuals like Ted DiBiase, who may have pulled a little chicanery last year with his number selection. There's nothing illegal about changing and buying a different number. It certainly is. Why? Oh, look, look at that maneuver. Birdman knocking him down again. Alan Martin having problems with Coco Beware. Well, Martin's having trouble with Coco's speed. Coco setting Martin up for the suplex. Nicely done. Snapped him right over. Then again, Coco, with his speed and agility, has an advantage to a certain extent in the Royal Rumble. But he's somewhat at a disadvantage if, in fact, he runs into somebody like Akeem. Or somebody like the Warrior. Or the Powers of Pain. Or the Hulk's to move. Wow. The Ghost Buster. Take that one to the bank. Snap suplex, excellent standing drop kick right on the chin, and there's the Ghostbuster. Wow. Wow.